In this 5 and 5 video we're going to talk through 5 time saving tips for design and application. Tip number 1, adding lines to your cut jobs, weed lines. In this example I'm using Illustrator but you can do this in any of your design packages. Once you've created your generic cut data or your print and cut data, before exporting the job it can be useful to add extra cut lines to your job which means when it comes to weeding it will be broken down into smaller sections which might make this easier for you. What we would do is add lines into the design work to break up the design. These can be done at specific points just to make it easier when it comes to actually pulling apart the letters afterwards so you can do this in small sections. As you can see here I'm just adding some different lines just to break down these sections which will mean that when it comes to weeding I'm just doing smaller areas at one time rather than weeding out the whole design in one go. These can be at strategic points which you can choose which will just make it a little bit easier so that the vinyl doesn't stick to itself when you start weeding it. So here we are, I've broken this down into a few smaller sections which should make it a little bit easier so once I export this I can peel off specific sections in one go without that vinyl sticking to itself. Number two, workspaces in your design program. Often when you're in your design package you'll end up opening different windows for the processes that you're working on. In Illustrator for example if we go to the Windows tab there are a whole bunch of different windows which we can open which become useful for certain processes. If at the top here you go to workspaces there are also some default templates of workspaces that you can use. Essentials, painting, printing, tracing for example. If, once you've moved your windows into the correct layout that you find useful you can always go to window, workspace, new workspace and save this layout as, a, as your default workspace. So let's call this one new workspace for example. If then once you've moved around all of these windows and your, your window or your, your screen is not looking as organized as you'd quite like, we can always go back to window, workspace and select the one and it will revert back to your default workspace that you find most useful. You can set up ones for digital printing, just for cutting for example, uh, working with photographs or anything. So you can set up a whole range of different workspaces which mean that you always have the right tools at hand whenever you need them. Number three, we're going to take a look at templates in your design package again. In this example I'm going to go to File, New and I'm going to create a new file at a default size for one of our machines or one of my processes. For this example I'm going to use the print area for our LEF2300 series which is 770 by 330 millimeters. I can then name the file, so let's say LEF2300 template for example and click, click create. I could then save this as a template, so go file, save as template. Choose a location where you want to save this, for now I'm just going to stick this on my desktop because it's easy to access and save it as an illustrator template. Then next time I come to design a job for that machine I can go to file, new from template, look in the location where you saved your initial template and find your template file. This means that you have a default size that will always open up at the correct layout and correct arrangement for the job that you're going to be working on. So that was a quick look at creating templates. Tip number four, using of air release vinyl. Most manufacturers manufacture these kind of materials and they will come with different names for these types of backing but that in effect they have a marking into the backing sheet with the, which the adhesive will sit into. This means that you get uh, your face film and then the adhesive will have peaks and troughs which sit into the recesses of the backing sheet. So you will have small points which will uh, contact the surface before the others. So when you stick down your material there will be small channels for the air bubbles that uh, you can come from laying down vinyl these will have somewhere to go when you squeegee them because of these air channels that are created through the adhesive. 
once you apply heat or pressure over time, that adhesive will become flat anyway, giving you the same adhesive strength as you would have had with a normal vinyl. However, when you first come to applying these vinyls, it is much, much easier to do. So speak to your manufacturers, look for these films, and if you're not very good uh, at getting your vinyl down flat and easy without any air bubbles, have a look for air release or bubble free or air channel vinyls, and these should help you when it comes to applying larger flat graphics onto surfaces. And tip number five, when it comes to outgassing your vinyls ready for application, many people have different methods for storing their vinyl whilst it's outgassing. We often see people lying these down flat or perhaps hanging them up across their shop, which takes up lots of space. The gases that come off of a solvent print are heavier than the air. So one of the methods that we've found that works best is to create an outgassing unit of some sort. Here we've created a very basic drawing to show you something along the lines that you could create. Here we have some kind of a cylindrical uh, tub that you can put your loose coiled prints into. So once they've printed, make sure you unwind them so that the surfaces are not touching. And these would be sat into a unit which then sits on a grid of some sort or something with holes in it. As the solvents are heavier than the air, these solvents will then move downwards through the prints and disperse out the bottom of the unit. To help this, you could even put a, a fan either at the top or an extraction fan in the base. We've even seen people create these by building them into locker units or storage cupboards or anything, but this is a really handy way on aiding the outgassing process whilst also not taking up lots of space because you can fit in hundreds of meters of loose coil prints into that unit.